Hello everyone, and today we will tell you about the movie New Order 2020. Roland is sitting across from his wife Eliza when suddenly people run in and forcibly pull out patients to free up a bed for activists. The doctor himself suggests contacting a private clinic, but the price tag will be about 200,000 pesos. But we are literally transported to a heavenly place where the elite of society gathered together at the wedding party of the girl Mariana. She is the daughter of this man named Ivan, who is a very influential person in the government. At this time, her mother will take the gifts to a small safe, after which she will open the tap from which green water will flow. She approaches Ivan in confusion so that he can see everything for himself. But when they return back, the water becomes normal. She tells Martha that someone has brought green paint, and Martha replies that she will sort it out. A little later, Victor and his family come to them. Victor begins to solve a couple of business issues. When a couple in green paint suddenly appears, the girl tries to figure out what's going on and the security service reports that the protesters are a couple of blocks away and it's time to leave here. Roland comes to the party and asks for money to save his wife's life. And since they can't approve the loan now, he had no choice but to come here. The woman returns home and takes 35,000 pesos and Victor quietly escapes from the party. The woman returns and gives the money to Roland, but this money is not enough and he asks for more. Forcing Daniel to give more money, Marianne tries to open the safe, but since the password has been changed, she tries to find out from family members who don't say anything because of what the girl wants to give her credit card. But Roland has already disappeared somewhere and together with the driver Christian, they go to the hospital, but they do not manage to go too far because the police have blocked the streets for their own safety. So they turn back. They say on the radio that the protesters have seized a couple of streets and the authorities are not doing anything. Right now, several protesters have made their way into the mansion. One of them shoots Ivan, which causes panic. Could you ask where the security is? It's pretty simple. The head of the security service shoots his boss in the leg and goes over to the side of the protesters. At gunpoint, he forces the woman to open the safe while other bandits rob every millimeter of the house. But one of the maids, Martha, realizes that others are doing terrible things and asks her son not to come home. But they are found and begin to beat them, robbing every person in the house along the way. A little later, Mariana returns, and although they are attacked, they still manage to escape. There are riots everywhere in the city, but Roland lets them into his house because the driver is his nephew. He tries to check the connection, but due to the fact that all the lines are broken, he simply does not exist. Night falls, the riots still haven't subsided, but tomorrow the authorities take everything under control and the medics take the wounded Ivan and Mariana wants to return home. The driver decides to check if everything is in order and a couple of military men immediately come out to him, who ask to show where Marianne is sitting. He's trying to say that he works for her and as soon as they found out where she lived, they ordered her to follow them and the guy has to stay here. During the trip, the military for some reason ask a lot of questions and then raise the tone and force them to hand over all their belongings. It turns out that the military took advantage of the riots for selfish purposes. Marta returns home, but everything is not so rosy for Mariana. Instead of home, she is brought to a local military base and not for protection, but for an impressive ransom. They record data about each hostage and it does not matter whether he is an ordinary citizen or a foreigner. Daniel comes to terms with the death of his family and falls into depression. Ivan is discharged from the hospital and Victor promises him that he will be able to see his daughter. Roland is still trying to leave the sector during the day, but he is not allowed to pass. Night comes. A ransom demand video is being recorded at a military base and Roland tries to call a doctor again, which is why he is killed. David receives the recording and shows the footage to Victor along with the captain. The kidnappers, in turn, do not like the share of 200,000, which is why they come to Kristen and ask for as much as 800,000. So they return to the mansion, passing new checkpoints along the way, where all people are given certain passes and another checkpoint was literally created in front of the elite area. With this news, he comes to Ivan, who nevertheless agrees, due to the fact that he does not want to put his daughter at further risk and Daniel transfers the money. But when the military received the money, they said it was a down payment. Now they are waiting for another million pesos, 
Fast forward back to the military base, where the military informs one of the prisoners that they have paid after all. One could say that he was very lucky to get out of this trap if he hadn't been shot at. This means that no one will get out of here. Christian talks about a million pesos, which is why he calls Victor, accusing the workers of kidnapping Mariana. The captain must take matters into his own hands and personally catch the military. And after he has studied their faces, he leaves this matter to the special forces. After 30 minutes, Mariana was brought to Christian. This place does not look like her home, and all because they decided to kill her. The next day, David is blatantly lied to, and Victor sits next to the captain at the show trial because it was all their plan to recreate a new order that's how the movie ends. Well, the Secret Recap channel was with you. We hope you enjoyed this release. Write about it in the comments. See you very soon. Bye.